Hello, my name is Hans Carlsen and uh, I want to talk to you today about the project we call When and Where. It's a conceptual project to show the benefits both of the visualization components of Plexdehyde and the, the model driven framework of capable objects. I'm gonna dive straight into it here, just opening the project, name the project, and it has some task groups and the tasks with under it, things that we're supposed to do, and there's work items that uh, represent something we have to do at a specific point in time. You can easily add new uh, work items like this and you could resize them. Once you have one of these you can go into details, show work item to write some text on it. This is the text. You could change the date, you could change the color of it to be able to assign uh, some kind of ability to uh, what's needed to do this and uh, just have some samples here. That's the main requested ability and maybe there's additional abilities that's needed so uh, one of those as well. And the same for the performer who's gonna do this. Is it Guy, fine. And also, if there's consumables associated with this work item, you're able to uh, add them here. This changed to green, and this is the text we wrote. You can also edit it here. And the idea between when and where project uh, that the the where should represent things in a map somehow. So let's say that we take this new work item, say that it's supposed to be done in Kazakhstan somewhere. Maybe, oh, I don't know anything about Kazakhstan. Maybe we should do it somewhere else. Let's do it somewhere. I can move around the work item like this. Let's go to London. Let's change the text here just to show that it's possible. change the text here, it's also updated here of course. All of these things use the model view pattern and they use model driven view models to uh, to manage all of these things with as little code as uh, we have been able to achieve. So whenever I change something and uh, there is an internal state about uh, the need to update so I can save this here this button will light up whenever there's a change that needs saving like if I move this one save and of course the cancel button will uh, cancel the changes so if you look at this one it will jump straight back and of course well not of course this is actually a wonderful thing the, there's multi-level undo straight in the framework so if you move things around as a user and then all of a sudden decide that uh, it was wrong you can simply press ctrl z for undo in multiple levels
levels and everything is returned to the original state where there is nothing to say also if you watch this uh, item that is a span that seems to follow it's implemented with the uh, derived attributes uh, at the model level and we're gonna look at that uh, if, if you're interested we could look at that and I can explain how it works as I said this is a, a conceptual application both for complexity high the visual components that is this Gantt chart and that visualize things in time anything you need really it's pure VPF also runs on Silverlight it has uh, the ability to zoom in and it uses gestures to do this and if you have a, a screen that supports that also another view that's possible is the scheduling view so let's um, look at uh, the same information as a schedule instead. Let's save this and show schedule. And in the schedule view, the date scaler is placed this way. It has the same abilities to zoom and things like that. And here the model says that it's supposed to show the resources as columns and the work items for each resource across project. The column here and uh, the resources that hasn't been assigned to or rather the work items that hasn't been assigned to any resource will show up in this column then it's desirable to just be able to assign something to a resource by dragging and dropping to this column of course if I do cancel of that this card changes We'll jump back straight back so let's do that again this card changes yes and of course the undo and redo is there as well so resource like in this case you might want to change resource if they're compatible that will be a way to do that right if we go back to the Gantt view one can double click on a work item to jump to wherever that work item is located this one seems to be on some island in East Siberia and this is rather interesting there's a big mushroom here let's look where that comes from work item map symbol the mushroom so I can change the map symbol to the antenna maybe and then there's the antenna so where does these come from as this is a concept app we're not sure how uh, the application looks uh, it's really up to you we need to discuss how to take this a, a real case a case that you might have that you might want to keep track of antennas that you have put up in different locations or something like that anything really but uh, this is just a concept on how we can store this information and, and visualize it for you anyway the symbols is uh, implemented also with the uh, pure uh, XAML which is a part of Windows presentation foundation so uh, you could simply grab something of the net that someone has done and paste in the XAML code to 
get this symbol and once you have the symbol in uh, when and where project you can use the symbol so that's flexible since this is done with purely VPF it's easy to put your own style to everything in uh, the application uh, just to prove a point so I'm gonna switch to uh, some other styles not very good looking but anyway you get a drift pure SAML style sheets that you produce for this hopefully this uh, uh, flyover will give you some ideas of uh, what uh, you could use these components and this this concept for and we're gonna look behind the hood now to see what builds up uh, these things so that you get a feel for that this is really doable something you can do today and uh, get uh, great results really really fast everything is developed with uh, Visual Studio there's a plugin that uh, represents the eco framework which gives you the modeler surface uh, explain what you need what kind of information you need and if you have business rules or actions that you want to perform so the project uh, that we saw and the task groups and the tasks and the work item is all part of the model but um, I would love to hear back from you if you have ideas on uh, what you can use these things for if you want to have the sample application or sample projects to test it or uh, if you want to have me explain something in more detail how it's done um, I'll be happy to do so there are very few lines of code in this project because everything is is uh, model driven the lines of code that are there are really generic so that they can be used to different things like uh, the Gantt chart that we uh, constructed has quite a few uh, markups uh, on it to to get the view that we uh, wanted for this uh, project but most things are in at the model level and uh, most things are in model driven view models that real easy to just uh, find the model attributes and uh, add them to display to get the information transformed the way you want it if you find this interesting in any way either to use part of it uh, or the whole concept let us know and we will uh, guide you further thank you